Happy Saturday, Mother's Day weekend. Hope you guys are all enjoying yourselves. To all the wonderful mothers in my life, both present and gone, I'm grateful for you. You are what makes the world go around. Period. That's it. That's all. Um, I've known a lot of really strong mothers in my time. And my mother was very strong. And uh, we lost her in 2011. And then my birth mother, I lost her early, early on. Um, so I kind of cling on to other other mother figures so huh? <laughs> like uh I, when i was in a vo atlanta i spent a lot of time with jennifer farmer bill farmer's wife because she reminds me a lot of my mom and um i enjoyed being around her she's sweet she's kind she's funny and um i latch on to people and i you know i kind of want to get into something because it'll kind of explain how, why I do some of the things that I do and that kind of stuff. A couple of years ago, um, my wonderful mentor, Steve Bloom, his, his, um, his assistant, his con handler, Gwendolyn King, good friend of mine and a wonderful person. I love her to death. She said, she told me that I was the most visible person on all of social media. Now, that sounds like a nice compliment. I think it was kind of a stab, but it's okay because I understood what she meant. Um, I spotlight the people that I care about. I have extreme empathy and, and, and compassion for others and for life. And I don't, I don't hold back because I've lost too many people. Life is too short. If I care about you, you're going to know it, period. Um, so whenever someone like Steve or Rob or any number of guys, Townie, come to anywhere that I'm at, I'm going to go and I'm going to support them. I mean, it's, I don't know how much like, uh, how much my presence helps, helps them financially. Um, as far as my ticket, buying tickets to events, uh, things like that. But I know that my presence supports them and it, and it, it can't be a bad thing. Right. And I do that for so many different people. I'm, uh, I'm okay with being known as the, the attitude of gratitude guy. I'm cool with that because gratitude literally changed my life. I've got a present to give to Steve today at Renton Retro. It's basically like a, it's like Unlock the Con. It's like a con inside a store. Um, so there's a lot of events going on around it, but I just, you know, it's Mother's Day weekend. I don't want to just be... I don't want to be a fifth wheel or nothing like that. So I just got day passes for me and my wife and my kid, or a couple of my kids that could come. And we're going to go up there and spend a couple hours, look at stuff, talk to everyone, give Steve his present, tell him a couple of stories, and be on our way. Tomorrow we uh, will spend the day at the coast for Mother's Day. I'm looking forward to that a great deal. Um, but for today, just kind of going with the flow, see how it goes. Um, like I said, I support the people that I care about. I promote, I support, I spotlight, whatever you want to say, whatever you want to call it. That's what I do. And I'm never going to change. Like if you've known anything about me, as far as what I present, when I talk about, who I cherish, who I spotlight, it's been the same. It's been consistent. It's been, 
it's proven that this is just how I am. This is what I am. This is what I do. Um, so if anyone ever feels like, eh, I'm not going to go there. This is what I do. And I'm probably in my head about some stuff, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going there. I'm going on this beautiful walk first thing in the morning. Get my walk, get my steps in, get the sunshine in, you know, enjoy myself, get out of my head. Um, it's been a rough couple of weeks as far as work goes. So I'm not, and I'm not going to dwell on that. I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep doing the things that I do because it has got me to where I am. Being, being kind, being a good person, working hard at my craft, becoming a better actor, becoming more well-versed in different genres because I'm not a one genre thing guy like I'm not just animation I'm not just video games I'm not just promo I'm not just trailer I'm not just commercial I'm not just e-learning I'm all of those things and like when I act every character that I play is a part of me um it just depends on what it calls for what the role calls for what the the situation calls for and then if I got to switch it up I switch it up if I need to be redirected I get redirected and I keep it pushing so don't seek validation I'm guilty of it too I want my heroes to know I want my heroes to see me and be proud the ones that I communicate with the ones that I actively that I'm actively involved with I don't want them to be like, oh, there goes Heath again, talking about such and such. Or talk, you know, That's not the intention. The intention isn't to draw attention to myself and, and what I've done or what I've, who I've run into or who I've seen. The pictures and things like that are memories. Bug. The pictures are memories for me. I have a hard time... Um, keeping vivid pictures in my mind so I just take pictures whenever I can because if there's no pictures it didn't happen uh, so and I don't I never I never intend to spotlight someone or something or an event Sovas, Vio Atlanta all these things that I've been involved with I don't do it to be like hey look what I'm doing look what I did I do it because it's something that brings me joy and sharing the things that bring you joy is how people get to know you. And it brings me great joy to support the legends that have laid the path for us, to support my colleagues, my friends, my co-entrepreneurial spirits. It's my pleasure and a privilege and I feel it's my duty because you know what? No one else is doing it. Not really. Like, everyone does it a little bit. I do it to the extreme. And I'm going to say something that might be whatever. I am... Um, I've noticed trends. Let me say this. I've noticed trends of people implementing some of the things that I do into their... into the things that they do. I'm not saying that they stole it from me. I'm not saying that they are copying me. What I'm saying is what I do should be infectious. And it should uh, inspire someone else to do something. To be kind. To be uh, uh, present. To be communicative. That's why I do it. Because love is is what's going to make the world go forward not jealousy bitterness all this stuff like me and my good friend eric horowitz both inaugural members of the bloombox studio community we were there from the first class on uh the uh the first class is what i'll call us we are first class and we've got friendly competition you know a little friendly competition back and forth and 
but it's because we care about each other. We want to see each other be successful. And I can proudly say that I have watched, I've literally watched Eric go through this whole process. Um, and I, I think he's watched me go through it as well. Um, brought me into Pachki Audio Chronicles and gave me the, the space and freedom to, to have fun and play and be silly and, and, and it's, you know, it's all a part of the journey. And I say that to say this, I seek validation too. I use it as fuel. When, when someone that I care about says something about me or says something to me, there's a lot of things that have been said to me in private that I've never shared. I've had, you know, conversations that will never be public. I've had, um, I've had love shown to me in a way that in a way that I don't know if I deserve it um, don't know if I'm worthy of it and don't know if I can ever repay the kindness but I will work my ass off for the duration of what I got left to pay it forward to pay back these people that have been kind to me, to bring students to Steve, to the class, to bring demo perspectives to Chuck, to, to just be a good fucking person. Sorry about the language. I'm a little emotional today. Um, but you know what? They may never, they may never look at me the way I look at them. And, and that goes for anyone. That's okay. Because they don't have to. But I like it. Who wouldn't? Do I need it? No. I'm doing the work. And sometimes having a chip on your shoulder makes you do the work better. Faster. With, with a defined focus. My goal is to be at the, t was, was to be at the table. Now I'm at the table. Now my goal is to eat with my heroes, eat with my mentors, eat with my friends. See, a lot of people get into this business because they're fans of the people in the business or they're fans of the characters or they're fans of the business in general. I didn't know shit about this business before I got into it. When I was going through life as an R&B singer for 30 plus years, I knew who three voice actors were. Mel Blanc, Peter Cullen, and Frank Welker. That's it. No, I knew about Phil Lamar because I was a huge fan of Mad TV. I knew who four voice actors were. So I'm not a, I'm not a fan of, I'm not a fan of, uh, I, I wasn't a fan of the actors because I didn't know who they were. I was a fan of the characters, a fan of a lot of characters throughout my life. But as I started to go on this journey and figure out who people were and, and start finding the people that I gravitated to, then I learned about all their great work. Then I became fans. So my adoration is more so to them as people, to them as human beings, to them as men and women and other, all the above. That's where my adoration is. Chuck Duran and Steve Bloom, single-handedly between the two of them, taught me how to live with gratitude, taught me about an attitude of gratitude taught me how to navigate this business and not lose my goodness or who I am as an individual, but to highlight it. And so often, especially in the arts, we're putting on masks, we're being other people, we're never truly ourselves. But the key, when you really find something, it's because you've injected 
a bit of you into everything that you do. And everything I do, I do with passion. I do with love. I do with kindness. I'm not here for your validation. My validation comes through my work, through the way that I treat others, through the way that I inspire others, through the way that I come to class and crush it because I've done my homework. I've done my preparation. I have been in the trenches. I have been auditioning regularly for years. So, this is what I will leave you with today. Don't seek validation. I'm guilty of it. We're all probably guilty of it in some form or fashion. Those that are for you will be for you. Whether you seek them out or not. I will continue to be the most visible voice actor on social media. Why? Because I want to shed light on people that have meant something to me. Um, let me just say this before I go. I already said that, didn't I? <laughs> Validate yourself. Validate yourself through your work, through your effort, through your heart, through your kindness, through the way that you present yourself to the world with consistency not in an act, not in an attempt to obtain something other than the respect of those that you work with, that you play with, because we play. Every day we play. Hey, that's why we play. Hey, I said we play. Hey, every day you know we play. Hey, sorry, a little MC Hammer for you on a Saturday, but it was, that's why we pray, pray, y'all remember the song, don't act like you don't know, and that's me, I come from, I come from that, I stay in that, I live in that, I am hip-hop, I am urban, I am whatever y'all want to label me as, I am those things, because that's what's inside me, that's what's always been inside me. And here I am tangenting again. Jeez. Whew. Love you guys. Be kind to yourselves, most importantly, because I am a self-loathing wreck at times. And that's a fact. Be kind to yourself. Because if you don't love yourself and if you don't, if you're not constantly kind to yourself, how can you possibly be kind and loving to others? I know who I am. I know what I am. I know how I've got to where I am. And I know what I need to do to keep going. It's been a slow couple weeks. But for every, every single, every single pitfall, there's something brighter. There's something better right around the corner. And there is for you too. Get your head up. Get your work in. Don't lay around worrying about who's thinking about what and who's doing what and who sees you and who don't. I spent way too much of my life concerned and in my head about what other people think and do. And that ain't got shit to do with me. All I can control is me. All I can control is the work that I put in. I'm putting in the work. I'm going to keep putting in the work. And I'm going to keep talking about it too. Whether you like it or not. <laughs>